this is a magic mirror. And you might be asking yourself, what's so magical about it? That's a good question. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about magic mirrors, what they are, and how you can create one yourself. But before we get started, be sure to like this video if you found it useful, click on subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. What exactly is a magic mirror? Essentially, it's a display that shows you information, and when the idea first came out, you put it behind a two-way mirror so you could have a mirror with information behind it, like this. There are a couple of different ways you can create your own magic mirror. The first is by using software developed for Raspberry Pi that's called Magic Mirror, and I'll post a link to that below. Now this is a great way to make a do-it-yourself magic mirror at home. You just need a Raspberry Pi, a monitor, and the hardware for however you want to display your information. Maybe a piece of two-way mirror, a frame, or some sort of cable management. Or you could just use a monitor to display your info like I have set up in my office. The software is easy to install and the information is displayed in modules that you load up. There's minimal coding, but there is upkeep to a setup like this. I was running a Magic Mirror for quite some time and it's a fun project if you want to learn more about Raspberry Pi, Linux, or you just like a good do-it-yourself project. There are a ton of modules out there that display just about anything you want. Some require API access through accounts you'll have to create online. For example, if you wanted a module that displays traffic information, you might need to create a Google developer account that will provide you with an API key that you can plug into the code of the module you're using. And right about now, you might be thinking, this is way too complicated. It looks cool, but then you said something about an AP blah blah blah, and I don't want to mess with all of that. Well, that takes us to our second option. There's a company called Dackboard that simplifies a lot of this for you. And if you use something like a Dackboard, there's a bonus that I'll talk about in a little bit. Now what Dackboard did was basically productize the magic mirror. Took the do-it-yourself out of the whole thing. But you still have a ton of customization here. They make it really easy to set up everything. You can even buy a wall-mounted display from them. They have a portal where you can configure all of your modules and it's essentially a drag and drop interface to set up your display. You might need to do some app authorizations, but it's essentially a no code interface and setup. I purchased my CPU from them and it's worked really well. I don't have to worry about updating software components of a Pi or any system updates, modules breaking that developers are no longer supporting or have changed. They do charge for use of their software, so that is something to be aware of. If you went down the magic mirror path, there's pretty much no cost of all that I can think of. One plus to using the Dackboard, and there are probably other companies out there like Dackboard, but one plus is that you can create other screens for something like an iPad. In our kitchen, I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro on a stand that I've talked about here on my channel, and I'll link to that video below as well. I use a Dackboard screen on that iPad and it works really well. I have a custom screen that shows calendar info, what's playing on our Sonos system, and weather, and other things. It's like a portable DAC board that we leave on and I can use the iPad for other things when I need it. Overall, it's really easy to set up a smart display, magic mirror, or whatever else you want to call it. Whether you go down the do-it-yourself route or buy something pre-packaged like a DAC board, both are great options. If you've got a spare monitor lying around, it's a fun project either route you take. Let me know if you've tried setting up a smart display in the comments below. Is this something you'd like to set up? Which route would you take? The do-it-yourself method or something like a DAC board? I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon. 